Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist at Fonz and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the block that goes into the quilt comfy cozy. For the pattern for this quilt, visit our website and how to purchase it. Okay, we're going to be making blocks that look like this and they are cut from five inch strips of assorted flannels in darks and in lights. So we're going to be using these wonderful blues, purples, teals, and grays and a fun um, array of dots and plaids. Now in the pattern for this quilt in particular, since it's cut off of five inch strips, we've got diagrams on exactly how many pieces to cut off each strip. So follow those um, cutting diagrams so that you can most, most accurately use your fabrics. And we have two different combinations here. It's a varied nine patch block, but you'll notice that the lights appear the center block and the outer corners on these, so 36 blocks like this, and then 36 blocks where it's dark in the center and darks on the outside. And these do match, so you have kind of like sets to go into each block. Now the simple construction for, that, for this block is, like I said, a nine patch. And if you're new to quilting, a nine patch grid means that, that um, the block itself is cut into nine pieces. And it can be a varied nine patch as in this um, case where the center row is a little wider. So you're gonna put out two matching squares and a rectangle, then rectangles and a large square, two matching small squares and a rectangle here. Now, in order to make this so that um, you have opposing seams, because you're working with flannel, which may be a first for you, flannel's a little bit thicker to work with, um, you're gonna wanna go to your sewing machine and set it up for working on flannel. Set your stitch length a little bit longer. Um, that will in ensure the fact that if you have to take out any of your seams, the seam ripper, which happens to us every once in a while, um, that you can actually get at the threads if it's set at the normal default of 2.0 on most machines, the stitches are very short and close together, which means that they embed into the flannel and makes it a lot harder to reach with the seam ripper if you need to do that. So set your stitch length to um, about a 3.0. And um, the other thing that you might want to think about is making sure that when you're doing your pressing for within your block that you have opposing seams. If you were to um, have seams that bunch up over the top of each other in these thick flat flannels, it, it's going to be harder to get um, intersections of points that you like. So here I have pressed seam allowances toward the outer corners. In the center row, press seam allowances toward the center. And then at the bottom row, press seam allowances to the outside. So that when we join rows together, for instance, here we'll have what we call opposing seams, so that they'll lock up against each other. One seam allowance going one direction, one going the other. And that will reduce the bulk at each of your intersections within your construction. So we've got joining rows. You'll create, like I said, 36 blocks with light centers and 36 blocks with dark centers. Now, Comfy Cozy, as you can see behind me, has no sashing or um, outer border, just finish with a great binding and quilt to your design, uh, in any fashion you like. This one was done really easily with a simple wave design going across it. So, in order to um, have fun with flannels, jump in, take some five inch strips, make Comfy Cozy. For more of our um, sewing tutorials, visit our website. And thanks for joining me today.